Hello guys, my name is Ismas and welcome to another exciting Blender tutorial and uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, how to make uh, this animation here, just uh, a speedboat uh, kind of making ripples over uh, the surface of the water. Yes, so we're going to be using dynamic painting uh, to kind of make this effect here and uh, if you want uh, the project file so that you can examine uh, how I did everything or how I set up everything and even get this awesome uh, 3D model of a speedboat uh, which is highly de detailed. I just turned off the subdivision just so I can uh, simulate this faster. But uh, yeah, so if you ha want to access uh, the, uh, the project and uh, use it for whatever reason, so for whatever things you want to use it for, uh, you can download uh, the project files uh, under the link I'll be adding to this uh, video here on my second channel, Blender Money. I want to promote this channel so that we can get it over uh, 500, 500 subscribers. Uh, so if you want to, you can come and subscribe to this uh, channel here. I upload time lapses there. Uh, so I'll be leaving a link to this video in this video here. I'm modeling a sci-fi corridor, which is another awesome video you can check out. And I think you can learn a few things uh, from that. Uh, so yeah. Uh, let's continue with the project. Uh, so as I said, we're going to be using dynamic painting, which is a, a feature that has been around in uh, Blender f since I think 2.5, uh, one, uh, but uh, people, a lot, not a lot of people use it. So, uh, but I think it's a really an awesome a feature that can, uh, that you can add to your workflow uh, to, uh, to, get, to kind of create uh, awesome things uh, like uh, this. Yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, so, as the name dictates, uh, Blender Dynamic uh, Painting uh, works almost similarly, similar to what you would use in uh, texture painting. Uh, what you need is a canvas. Uh, so, say like an Im image texture like this, and then let me just create an, an image texture like this, and then a paintbrush to paint over like that and uh, what blender does is that is, is then uh, from these paint brush paint strokes you have made it can calculate ripples uh, emanating uh, from that i don't know how it works but uh, that's what blender does uh, so yeah let's do that uh, so instead of using anime texture and a uh, paint uh, brush like this uh blender dy dynamic as painting uh, uses a mesh or an object, a real object, 3D object, and uh, as your canvas, and then another object as as your uh, paintbrush. And uh, when you drag it around uh, the surface, uh, it's, the, it's the equivalent of painting on the surface like this. So you're essentially doing the same thing uh, instead of using uh, the brushes and the anime texture, you're using an object uh, to paint over another object. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, so to set this up, you just select uh, the canvas. Let's first select this, the canvas, uh, which is our surface here, and then go to the physics tab and uh, the physics tab, and then click on uh, dynamic painting. Uh, select this. Uh, this is going to be our canvas. As you can see, there are two things you, you need to set up here: a brush and a canvas. This is going to be our our brush, and this is going to be our canvas. So let me turn on random colors so that we can differentiate uh, between the two easily. Uh, so this is going to be our canvas. So let's add that as our, as our canvas. And then this is going to be our brush. Uh, so dynamic painting, uh, change this to brush. Hit, uh, so for the brush setup, that's very quick. That, that's all we need to set up. We just need to uh, set it as our brush and uh, that's all. Uh, for the canvas, we need to set up a few things. Uh, dynamic painting is uh, very powerful and you can use it for a lot of things but because I want to keep this very simple uh, I'm just going to see to stick to uh, making uh, the waves uh, that you see we are making here so uh, just to make this also easy I'm going to animate this cube so that I don't have to drag it every time I make changes uh, so that we can just hit play back the timeline and see uh, this the effects whatever is happening or whatever is going on here. So I'm just going to add, give this a simple animation, add a few keyframes. Maybe rotate it a few times. So let's see. So this is the animation. I think it's too slow. So I'm just going to speed it up a bit. Maybe change the, key, the timeline to 130. see this is what we have and uh, we already set up 
uh, this as our paintbrush and this as our canvas, but uh, nothing is really happening. Uh, this is because in our canvas, we haven't set, set up the ripples at work just yet. So uh, we have a few settings here that I'm not going to go over uh, in detail uh, because I'm trying to keep this very simple. Uh, but uh, under the surface setting, you can see that uh, we are painting uh, the surface type is set to paint, uh, which is essentially just painting uh, pixels on a black surface like this, uh, which is not what we want. We want to kind of dis displace uh, this surface and uh, get uh, that kind of ripple effect. So we, we can change the surface type to, you can see the different settings we have. We have displacement, weight, and waves. So if you set this to displacement, I uh, can see Nothing is happening because uh, this is dependent on uh, the polygon or subdivisions in your surface. And right now we only have two vertices and since uh, this uh, object here never touches any of these vertices, uh, though they're not being displaced. Uh, so if we kind of animated this uh, to touch those vertices, I think it may work. You can see how it's dis displaced uh, that surface, see that? So uh, the displacement is dependent on uh, the polygons you have in your scene and uh, because we don't have enough polygons here, uh, it's not displacing others. So let's subdivide this a few times. You can see now it's displacing uh, the polygons, the vertices is touching. So let's subdivide this even further. And you can see now we get better results. I'm going to also turn on uh, smooth smooth surfaces so that we get a much a much more smooth uh, displacement. Let's see. But uh, again, this is not what we are going for. We are going for ripples or waves. Uh, so let's change this from uh, from uh, displacement uh, to waves. And you can see we now have waves it's a bit uh, the waves are going a bit faster so let me reduce let me slow down this animation a bit so by scaling up uh, the keyframes here and uh, to make it more interesting i'm just going to animate it in the same way uh, that uh, see even when you're playing back you can still see the effects we are, you're making because essentially as i said you are painting over a surface and uh, blender is just calculating uh from where you're painting to create uh, those ripples so yeah let me remove this so i want to animate this like make kind of doing a spin around the surface so i'm just going to parent this object to this here control p and then just animate this rotating around, uh, which will give us the same effect as make, making a spin around the surface like that. You can see this is what we are getting. Now you just have to give this uh, a nice material. So sh let's go to shading, new material, uh, transmission and uh, we just need to choose a better let's see let's transmission uh reduce the roughness let's go back here just choose a better hdri image and uh, this is what we have so this is a cube and uh, from our it doesn't sell as a as a, a speedboard does so you can also use a speedboard uh, to to kind of make the ripples, but uh, because it's kind of a complicated geometry, uh, a complicated shape, uh, it may take a little bit longer to bake us. So what I did here, I also cheated a bit. Uh, instead of using this uh, to kind of make the ripples, I used uh, an object that looked, that was in the shape of a bot, and then parented this, uh, the bot, uh, the speedboard to out of the object and uh, then I hit this. So let's do that. I'll just copy this. I paste it in here. Clear rotation, 90 degrees. 
uh, let me also get rid of that keyframe and uh, scale it down yes align it to the object again you can use this as your paintbrush uh, but uh, uh, since I'm recording and uh, my machine is not uh, the best machine I'm just going to cheat a bit parent this to this control P keep transform now it looks like uh, the is the bot itself making the repos so I can hide this and you can see and you know just to show you that uh, the bot itself can make the repos I'll just first disable this you can see there are no more repos except uh, the ones that we are calculated previously and now there are no nothing is creating any repos so if I just add this back dynamic paint brush you can see how slow that is in creating repos so I need to actually first give it add, a, add it as a brush to start making those repos but you can see how slow it gets and uh, let me first turn off maybe these subdivisions I guess it's not that slow uh, so yeah, you can also make the repos, but it's also not making the best repos uh, because only a small surface is creating. You don't really have enough control uh, when you do it like that. That's why I chose uh, to have an ob a placement object uh, instead of uh, using the bot itself. So I'll just go back, remove it as a dynamic paint, and uh, re add this as the dynamic paint brush we want to use. So brush. And I think you can use more than one brush for this. So let's see if I duplicate this shift D. Yeah, you can create, you can use more than one object. You can see how we have those repos created by two objects. So yeah, now you just have to hide uh, this and I remember uh, the resolution of your simulation is dependent on the polygons or polygon, polygon count you have. So if I subdivide this even further, you can see you get better ripples. And uh, you see this effect uh, where the ripples are kind of bouncing off the boundaries and are reflecting back. You can see this is one ripple and then it reflects back or bounces back into the area. Sometimes you don't want that. So if you don't want that, you can just go under the surface settings and uh, there is an and uh, turn on open borders so that the ripples don't bounce back yeah you can see they're just going through at least the larger ones are not bouncing back i'm still seeing a few ripples that are bouncing back but uh, the main the big ones are not bouncing back yes yeah, so that's how you do that again if you want other project files uh, this project file uh, I'll be leaving um, I'll be leaving it a link uh, to it at uh, end of this video here uh, so that you can uh, download that, that and uh, do whatever you want with it for free thank you for watching